Alright, yo peeps, what's going on? Chess my 7 gonna be bringing you a commentary. Today I'm gonna be giving, me, giving you guys a Deadeye build. Now this is not the perfect build, but I could definitely improve in a lot of spots in that and I will get into that. Deadeye is a great, great, great build for the DZ as it stands right now. I know that there's a lot of BS going on. Deadeye is also one of those things that are going on. But hey, this gives you advantage against shotgunners. And, you know, just as long as you keep your distance, this build is great. Uh, so I will be showing you guys that. I would re recommend you guys run Booster Shot and also uh, Smart Cover with this build. Um, from my standpoint, it is the best, but if you guys get lots of gear that help you in other ways, such as like Critical Hit, uh, Pulse Critical Hit damage and stuff like that, then definitely switch one of those to that. It would definitely help you a lot better. Um, but for me, this definitely works out the best for me. I will be giving you guys into that. So let's get into my build. So you guys are probably sitting there going, Chesties, what the hell are you showing me? I understand this looks terrible. I understand. Okay, but it is definitely a great build. So just hear me out. There will not be any PvP in this video. I will be sure to give you guys a manhunt video with this build because I don't, I don't want to go out there and just create builds and throw them up on YouTube and let you guys watch it and tell you it's good and then you go out and farm all that stuff and then you get it and it turns out to be garbage. I actually go out and try this myself and it works like a charm. I down people in about three to five hits normally, sometimes less, it just depends. Um, but this build definitely puts the hurt on people and it is a great build. It could be a lot stronger, I could probably down people in like two hits when I get better things. And I will be getting into that throughout this video, so do stay tuned until the end. So uh, I am running the SOCOM M1A, it is not the best roll, it has harmful and deadly on it. It does have fierce, but I don't need fierce because it has critical hit chance. Critical hit chance is something that you don't need with this build because four pieces of dead eye gives you a hundred percent critical hit chance. So really, I mean, you get a, every single shot that you put out is going to be a critical hit. So you need to worry about your critical hit damage, not your critical hit chance, your critical hit damage, and also with mods on your gun and etc. So, you know, it hits hard, it's a great weapon, it could be re-rolled a lot better if Fierce was for something else, but unfortunately, uh, that's nothing that I have right now. Um, but anyway, so let's get into my build. So my chest piece here is, 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 a great, is a great one. I got lots of armor on there, it has a 12.5 exotic damage resilience. Now, don't forget this is a sniper build, guys. It is not a PvP get in your face type of build, so sticky bombs will hurt you. But as long as you have some exotic damage resilience, and at least they won't kill you unless you're hurt. Um, but just definitely just keep your distance with this build, and it'll work out great for you. Trust me. Uh, so, you know, this is what it says now. And, you know, I have armor on there. And uh, these are the bonuses that it gives you. So, you get 20%. Sorry, my controller's messed up, as you guys know. So, you get 20% marksman rifle critical damage. So, that helps. And then you get... Um, you know your your dead eye your dead eye skill is uh, you know while not scoped critical hit chance on your marksman rifle is increased by 100% but headshot damage is removed so don't worry about that every shot that you put out is going to put out a critical hit chance or uh, sorry cr it's gonna put out critical hit sorry my mask here now I have two of them but this one definitely gives me a lot of health um, so you know this is this is the one I run more than the other one because this one my health drops my dps goes up a little bit but really i don't notice a difference i honestly don't it's like a maybe 5k difference with the damage so uh you guys really need to look at which one you know it, it takes a little bit of like switching around gear and stuff like that to find out which gear puts out the most so i'd rather put out 5k less damage and get 100k more health you know what i mean so uh this is my hunter's Faith mask and I run two pieces of Hunter Faith because I get another uh, marksman rifle critical hit damage or so that that helps a lot so definitely I'm putting out like 40% more just on my gear so let's get into my knee pads my knee pads here nothing super special but critical hit damage on them is 18% it could be a little bit higher I think it goes up to 21 but I'm not gonna sit there and re-roll them anymore uh, so 18% is definitely a lot and then it has armor on them as well. So my armor is capped out 
uh, with this gear on without any mods. So that definitely helps a lot. It lets me it let, lets me put mods in other places that needs to be. Let's get into my uh, my dead eye go bag now. My armor's weak on it, but it, my armor's already maxed out, so it doesn't matter. It has 21% critical hit damage. So when you guys are running a dead eye bag or dead eye build just make sure that you guys get as much critical hit damage on your gear as possible and you guys will definitely love this build definitely love it uh, but anyways that's what I have on it right now uh, let's get into my gloves so my gloves are pretty good here but they have critical hit chance on them this build you don't need critical hit chance you honestly don't need it whatsoever so um, you know, it could be re rolled for something else, but I already re-rolled it for critical hit damage because critical hit damage is the most important with this build, like I said many times already. Uh, and it has marksman rifle damage and first aid self-heal, which also helps a lot. Uh, let's get into my holster. So my holster gives me a lot of good stuff and it gives me a lot of armor, but it has turret. See, that's the thing what I meant from the beginning of the video. Make sure that you guys go with what your gear says. My gear is really good for sticky bombs and turrets right now, but I don't want to run any turrets. I don't want to run any sticky bombs with this build. This build is honestly a sniping build. So I'd rather have critical hit chance on pulse or critical hit or or sorry, critical hit damage on pulse or else I would rather have, you know, extra smart cover stuff or something like that or extra self heal you know things like that those definitely help you uh so they definitely don't do anything for me with this build so that's what i mean this build is far from perfect but it could be a great build i will be getting around to making a manhunt video with this build i will be showing you guys pvp with this build it is an awesome build guys so don't be scared to run it all right so let's just quickly show you what kind of damage this gun can put out now, do keep in mind when you guys are using this gun, make sure that you guys have lots of mods on it for critical hit ch damage. I do have two on them. Uh, mine is my, what do I have here for critical hit damage? I have my magazine is 37% uh, critical hit damage. And then I have my, um, my large muzzle, which puts out another 39% critical hit damage. So uh, when you guys are making this build, just make sure you guys do that, but just keep your distance with this build and it will be great. So uh, let's just get into this. I'm just gonna shoot this guy a couple times here. So I'm hitting at 37 to 47 K a shot. Now, when it comes to AIs in the dark zone, you usually down them in three hits without anything. But let's uh, throw out my booster shot and my smart cover here and show you guys what kind of damage it puts out. So it hits out at 200. It does go up higher than that. 215k it puts out so you definitely when it comes to pvp you're hitting anywhere from 25k all the way up to 70k sometimes even higher it depends on them as a as what kind of gear they have uh but you can definitely down somebody in anywhere from three to five hits sometimes less uh but definitely i mean if you're seeing somebody run across the street it's like one two three down you know or something like that you know so it, it definitely this build is awesome guys so definitely give it a shot anyways i'll be getting around to making manhunt with you guys for you next video hopefully and until next time i hope you guys enjoy if you guys do the please drop the like button until next time peace